The partner agencies of the IS program said September 25 they were in no rush to decide on the station's future beyond 2024. Credit NASA Adelaide, Australia, the partner space agencies of the International Space Station said September 25 they have had discussions about the future of the station beyond 2024, but indicated no urgency in making a decision. At a press conference during the 68th International Astronautical Congress here, NASA Acting Administrator Robert Lightfoot said he has talked with the other partners about both an extension of the IS as well as cooperation on the agency's proposed Deep Space Gateway, although no decisions on either were imminent. We've got a list of criteria that we're putting together to say what would we do POST 2024, he said, referring to past studies that conclude it's technically feasible to operate the IS beyond that date. This is something that we've talked about pretty consistently, whether it's at our level of the heads of agencies or the level just below. Related how the International Space Station will fall from orbit Lightfoot added that discussions among the heads of agencies are planned for this week at the conference, but didn't indicate a timeline for making a decision beyond noting that the European Space Agency didn't formally commit to the extension of the IS to 2024 until a ministerial meeting last December. Igor Komarov head of the Russian state space corporation Roscosmos, suggested that there would be the need for a research facility in low Earth orbit beyond 2024. We need something in low Earth orbit, he said. It's better to make research in LEO, if it's possible to make them there. Future research, though, could be done with a different approach than the current management of the IS. In the future, should it be a different structure, maybe less investment consuming, more efficient, he said. The next generation shouldn't be a copy of the existing one. Komarov, however, backed away from reports that Russia was considering separating its modules from the IS to form a Russian space station after 2024, acknowledging that the technical feasibility of that has been studied. We have no plans to separate the Russian segment from the IS, he said. We keep the same position that we should work on the IS together with our partners. Naoki Akimura, president of the Japanese space agency JAXA, said consideration of the long-term future of the IS was premature at this time. We need to look at the reality today before we think about the future that's too far away, he said through an interpreter. By 2024, we need to make sure to generate as many results as possible from IS-related missions. The International Space Station is the largest structure in space ever built by humans. Let's see how much you know about the basics of this science laboratory in the sky. Zero of ten questions complete cosmic quiz Do you know the International Space Station? Zero of questions complete however, he said JAXA was in discussions with NASA about a potential role on the Deep Space Gateway facility in Cislinar space. JAXA is now making a serious deliberation as to what JAXA can do if we join the Deep Space Gateway and how we can support that, he said. We are in the middle of those discussions. Lightfoot cautioned that the Deep Space Gateway remained just a concept at this time, without the former endorsement of the project by the administration or Congress. We shared that with our international partners, he said, starting with discussions in April at the Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. At a panel discussion later in the day at the conference, executives with Boeing and RSC Energia endorsed continued work on the IS as well as development of the Deep Space Gateway concept. I think that it's really important that, when you look at the transition of the International Space Station, we look at some lessons learned from shuttle and don't repeat those, said John Elbin, vice president and general manager of space exploration at Boeing. That means, he said, we don't set an arbitrary date to retire the station before there's another low Earth orbit destination that can fill the requirements of the space station. This story was provided by Space News, dedicated to covering all aspects of the space industry.